Metro Detroit's Tri-Counties are virtually out of the coronavirus vaccine, not been able to get what they need from the state. Another issue looming, Oakland, Wayne, and Macomb counties still have a lot of people from the first phase to vaccinate, which means come Monday, that line for appointments is going to get a lot longer. We bring in Jason Colthorpe, and Jason, you have been uh, crunching the numbers to show us how bad this is. Yeah, it's not good, Devin. Consider this, all three counties right now have the capability to both store and administer thousands more doses of the vaccine than they are. But right now, they're only getting a fraction of what they're requesting from the state. The Wayne County Health Department, which does not include Detroit, is getting 975 doses of the vaccine from the state every seven to 10 days. It's asking for 5,000 doses in that time. Oakland County has gotten almost 2,000 doses a week and is also requesting 5,000 a week. Macomb County, 1,000 a week, and it wants, well, it wants to shoot the moon. We're asking for 50,000. We know we can get 50,000 a week out. But unfortunately, what we've been getting from the state with our allotment is a thousand, a thousand a week. And this new group that's added to the uh, first priority group uh, is going to equate to over 200,000 people are now going to be asking for this vaccine. And we only have 1,000 per week to give out. That's the problem the biggest counties are seeing. Come Monday, they'll still be trying to vaccinate people in phase 1A and 1B, which is people 65 and older. This is going to be a very frustrating period, very frustrating process. I think if they would have identified senior citizens, which is our at-risk population, uh, this probably would have been a little bit smoother. Both Oakland and Wayne County say they could give 1,000 shots a day if they had them. Governor Whitmer has blamed the federal government for not supplying enough and today said the feds aren't releasing doses that are already here. We are ready to take on more vaccines. If the federal government would release the Pfizer vaccines that are sh sitting in the freezer farm in Portage, Michigan, so that we can even do even more and build up our systems to accomplish that. I reached out to the governor's office and the state health department tonight to clarify what the governor meant there and also to get a reaction to what's happening here in the tri counties. But we did not get an, an official comment with that. By the way, Beaumont uh, Health tonight, as we reported last night, that it had just doubled its efforts to 3,200 vaccines a day, announcing that it's opening up more sites. It will be able to give more vaccines starting in the coming day. So good news there, Devin. That is good news. Can you tell then how far behind Wayne County is uh, at this point? Yes, it's it, they they tell me that they are weeks away from getting through the first group to start on the yeah. second group. However, they do have a meeting tomorrow with health systems uh, and they're hoping maybe they can start vaccinating the 65 and over crowd. It would greatly alleviate what they do. So they have a meeting with both Beaumont and Henry Ford. They'll find out tomorrow if they get a huge break there. Devin. Let's hope. All right, Jason.